He's nice. What is up, YouTube? We are getting ready right now to fly to New Mexico tomorrow. Um, my brother-in-law, Ashley's brother, drew out on an awesome elk tag. It's the Valles Caldero, um, like National Preserve elk hunt. You'll have to check it out if you if you haven't heard of it before, look at it. Um, it's pretty sweet. The tag that he drew out on is an early season rifle and there's only 15 people with the tag and he drew out his very first year putting in. I've got all the gear laid out that needs to be in the backpacks. So we've got everything pretty much ready to go. They're picking us up in Albuquerque and they're already gonna be loaded up truck and trailer and we're gonna be headed there. Oh, we are at the airport. So, here we go. We're supposed to be in New Mexico right now, but just getting on the airport. Is that four? I think so, or five. So plans have changed. Um, we're supposed to have a connecting flight in Denver to Albuquerque, but we're gonna see if somehow they'll give us our luggage in Denver, because um, we're supposed to have a 13 hour layover in Denver, but it only takes six hours to drive from Denver to our hunting spot. So we're gonna probably get a rental car, um, try to like just miss our connecting flight basically, and then just drive to the hunting spot uh, so that we can maybe scout tonight because the hunt starts tomorrow morning. It is cold at Idaho airports. <laughs> yes it is. I have gotta walk like clear across the freaking airport to get to the plane. Like really? Denver. I yeah. We did it. Got all our crap. Now we gotta go get a rental car. <gasps> well, we got the car rental. We're rolling in a minivan. So, just hitting the road. We've got a seven and a half hour drive, but it's all good. We gotta stop at the store, stop getting some breakfast. We're starving. So, hitting the road. Hey guys, we are at McDonald's. Bikinis. Just getting some breakfast. We've got like a seven hour drive from here. This is going to be 
so sweet. Good morning, everybody. We've got the whole crew up here. But we weren't sure if we could film this, so we've kind of been holding out. But we just got word that we're golden. Um, we've seen quite a few elk already this morning. We saw a bunch on the drive-in. And I think we've seen more bulls than we have cows, so that's yeah, good. probably, I'd say so. We saw one on the hike up that was probably like a 350 bull. Pretty good bull, but we got up here a little bit later than we hoped. But we're just gonna check out some area today, see what we can find. It's really strong by Keaton. You don't smell it. Show you what I'm looking at. So we found a pond. We're like way back up in this clearing. We found a little pond. We've got deep canyons all around us. Um, we just saw like 10 elk up in that clearing. And I just found what what I always call a dry wallow. Um, just like a place in the dirt where where they've just been tearing it up. I don't know if it's the minerals in the dirt right here or what. So if you can tell right here, they've just been tearing this up. Like, looks like it used to be grass and they've just completely destroyed it and then 
grass all around it and then just torn up um, I don't really know why they do it but I've found this quite a few times and it's, I think they're trying to get something out of the soil like salt Maybe if, when we come up there and come back, it might be later. This might be over there. So that's Hi. the plan. We're headed up over that ridge over there to a different basin. And then hopefully we see something over there and get it done. But if not, we'll just start slowly creeping out as it gets dark. Have anything to say? Nope, we got a nice snack in and I'm re-energized to go again.
are surrounded. There's probably 150 elk on that hill behind us, if not more. And then we just keep finding more. We're just yet to find a decent bull. Nine out of ten are cows. But there are some bulls in there because we keep hearing bugles. We just can't find them. So just keep looking. But we are surrounded and they are everywhere. So we gotta find one eventually. Guys, they're all around us and they're still screaming. <laughs> Your first elk hunt is something you'll never forget. Killing your first bull elk is an emotion that cannot be explained, but doing it all with your family right there by your side is just icing on the cake. Good morning guys, second day of Dallin's elk hunt. We are off starting the morning, so hopefully we'll have some luck. Today marks day two of the Valle Escalera National Preserve elk hunt. We started our hike quite a bit earlier today, and in turn we were able to listen to bugles the entire hike in. As we listened to the bugles creep to the mountaintops, we continued our journey up the base of the canyon. Once we reached the spot we intended to be, we sat down to have some quick breakfast. The second we sat down, we heard a bugle over the hill. Dallin and I jumped up, grabbed the gun, and took off after him. Ashley was right on our tail with the camera. You can see his back. I just can't tell how big he is.
not quite there.
What you looking at? A nice six point bowl. He is Staring all the way on top of that mountain. It's probably the best one we've seen yet. That's probably the best one yet. Hey guys, so we, Keaton and I, left the, the group and they're kind of back resting. They're super tired. We woke up at, at three o'clock this morning. We are in them thick. There are elk everywhere you look. Just haven't found the one yet. So, so we're kind of just jumping from hill to hill to hill, looking. But there's one that keeps bugling over here in the draw. We haven't seen him. He sounds pretty good. I'd like to see what he looks like. The 
small six point. Guys, we have elk literally everywhere. Um, they're just screaming all over the place. We've got probably a group of like 20 or so up here and we just keep finding more and more and more. We just haven't found the one yet. There's like two good six points up on that hill. But the, there's one that's screaming that sounds huge and we still haven't found him, so. We're just gonna keep looking, but I think we're in an awesome spot. At this point, Keaton and I returned to the group. We all decided that it would be a smart idea to return back to camp and rest for the rest of the day. We found a new spot and wanted to return to this spot as early as possible the next morning. We all packed our stuff up and headed down the mountain with the full intent of getting some good rest, eating a good meal, and getting it done bright and early tomorrow morning. Found an elk shed and we can't pick it up. Or touch it. Or move it. All we can do is take pictures. It's the best one we found. Yeah. Everything else has been tiny. Not a bad looking one. A little broken, but... Shoot up. Pretty nice. Now we're shedding layers because it's getting hot. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Dallin? Tired? Yeah. We're all pretty tired. As we were hiking out on an old logging trail, Ashley noticed a mature bull that was bedded less than a hundred yards away from us. We hit the dirt and scrambled to get in position for a shot. Do you want to shoot right in between those? Okay. Just take your time. He has no idea we're here. He's dying. He's dying. He's dying. You killed him. 
Good job. Yeah. Good job. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, Killed him right in his bed. You're kidding me. He didn't even move. <laughs> Killed him right in his bed. Yes. Good job, buddy. Congratulations. Oh my gosh. Just, he didn't even stand up. Oh, Perfect do you shot. See him? I saw his head just slowly go like this. I saw him, man. Oh Jump. my gosh. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was yes. awesome. Perfect <laughs> shot. He didn't even stand up. I know. You just like, I saw it like perfect, <laughs> like, and I was like, you got him. And you just see his neck start falling. <laughs> that was awesome. I couldn't, you didn't see him. No. Can't, where we were, we couldn't even see him. Really? We were here. I don't he, think so. I think the no, sun no, was no. in his eyes. Really? No, he looked at Ashley and me. Ashley's he's like, look, look. Us. And I looked over there and he he's going like this with his head. He's like looking, looking back and forth at us. Huh? <laughs> and he just stayed there. I think he thought. Oh my. I just wonder if the sun was in his eyes so he couldn't tell what we were, but he saw movement. Because, like, be it. he's directly at the he sun looking we up at us. I don't know. So I think he saw movement, but he was like, eh. You got him? Yeah, yeah. he's dead. That was such a close shot. Nice. That was perfect. That was. I'm so happy. That turned out perfect. Oh my gosh. I kept thinking, I was like, what if we just walk into one on the way out? I didn't even think of that. Never even crossed my mind. Ashley's like, because yeah, they'd be bedded all down in here. This yeah. Time. Would you tell me you're like bedded, bedded? It's like get down. There's one bed. I right thought you were like. I told him I was like, first. that's probably the, that's probably the biggest one we've you, seen. You but yeah, I, I told him I was like, I was like, he's not a giant, but no, like this not. is perfect scenario. Like we're all yeah, here together. Like, that like, up. like this is exactly what we wanted. I could kind of see him through the. No, he's lengthy. Like yeah, he's really his his fourth, fifth, and sixth are kind of like. Kind of like short, but like he's yeah. got, he's so lengthy. No. Nope. Oh my gosh. It's perfect oh scenario. How can you pass that up? That when, when you guys were here, what uh, position was he? Were you looking at him uh, sideways or almost? Yeah, he was perfectly quartering. That's how like come we moved. Yeah, we saw Ed you looking like that. down this way more and more. And I was like, he's going to take off. He's going to take off. That's how come we kept moving. There's like kind of trees yeah, like in front of us. As soon as he stands up, but he stayed bedded. Yeah, I, was, I told like, Dan, I was like, I don't I don't think he knows we're here. Like, oh, take yeah. all day if you want yeah. to. Like, you can see the shot. Right? I think I got oh, it. It's not the best. You can see his antler slowly go like this. I videoed it too, so. Oh, did you? Yeah, I was watching through my okay. phone and I, I saw the hair like right behind the shoulder just, and I was like, I was like, that was a good shot. I was like, put another one in, put another one in. And then I just see the head just start going. And I was like, oh, you're good. Instant, nice, Dallin. Glad we walked down oh, this guess road. the scope was all right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure you didn't get out your range finder, right? No, I was like, he's like, what, is? 70 yards maybe? 70? yeah. Maybe close to 100. Actually, I don't know. No, it's close to 68. 68. Yeah. Yeah. When you guys were here, I was like, I don't think we need to sight the scope in. That's awesome. Like, 68. <laughs> That's awesome. I can't believe that. I just look over and see him sitting there. I'm like, can we let no. him sit and then I take a No, he's dead. We can go up whenever you yeah, want. I thought for sure. Uh, um, let's empty that gun though, because we did put another one in it. And let's find the case and you shot him with him, because you're keeping it. I, I thought for sure he should uh, get up. Can. Me too. I was like, King, King, run. Where we were at, King, I couldn't see him. I was just like, what are you guys waiting for? Okay. What were you thinking? No. About? Yeah, it's like, did he miss? I can still just back in. Taking forever, sit up, and I just push it down and slowly push, push it forward. This? Yeah. Did you see him though right at the very beginning? Well, as soon as you said it. Okay. Yeah, I was like, his head was straight up. Yeah, he's just staring. He was he was batted, but his head was straight up. His ears are just moving around. He's just. All right. Um. Yeah, you might as well empty it. Second day. Not done early, so I don't have to do this at nighttime. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hiking, hiking up here again. Oh yeah. Oh, you sure might be hiking up well. again. <laughs> I'm fine doing that. Yeah, at least it's you know what I mean. Purpose, <laughs> yeah. right I don't want to come up at four in the morning again. <laughs> he looks pretty nice. I could hike up here three more times today and be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, that's great. Good job, yeah. Here, lead the way. Let's film you going down there. Yeah. Austin jump. Um, scope yes. caps. Does somebody pick those up? Oh, I saw it over there. Good 
memory. I was at Dad's. I'm so, so proud of you for seeing that because we would have just walked right yeah, by. Yeah, we were walking. I don't know. How I know. We were trying to get off. Awesome I think the only thing that while. saved us I is the sun's literally down. perfect angle at us. That like, might be it. So right when he was looking up. Yeah, and the wind was somewhere. perfect, so I think he just looked up and say, just he, he could see movement, but it was just blinding yeah. to him. Yeah. Plus, how often does a person hike? Yeah, he probably doesn't see very many people. Well, you're the first person that I've heard only shoot once. So, yeah. <laughs> just you saying. One shot easy right here. <laughs> All right, go for it. Lead the way. Take after, take after your sister. Yeah, he had a good hiding spot. He's freaking awesome. Good eyes, Ash. That is an awesome first bull. Can't beat that. That's where it came out, yeah. Probably heart punched him. Yeah, that's where it came out. I would think, unless he's been hit before, because that looks dried up. I think he'd been hit before. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually probably a good thing. You just finished off a wounded bull and it'll actually get put to use instead of going to waste. So he'll be fine. Looks like he was gut shot. So I don't think any of the meat will be damaged. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Um, it's gonna be heavy. He's definitely been fighting. Look at all these scars. I know. The battery's been trying to itch at that wound. Yeah. Huh. Good job. Set it down. <laughs> well, his, his third on his one side is kind of unique. It doesn't come out until right, right near the fourth. He's <laughs> Go big. hold him, Dallin. Wow. So, that might be why, that could be also why he didn't stand up. Stand up. He's hurt, yeah. That's, that's probably a good thing. Finish yeah. him off. Good to see. This is going to be a good one over here. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Woo! Couldn't have been better. Can you make this all happen?
Atlanta. <laughs> Look over here, though, Doc. Mouth bleeding out, huh? Yeah. Get some other pictures. Let's get a group picture. Yeah. Oh wow. Holy cow. His man. eyes are out. Were there eyes like that before? Yeah, look at his eye. He's hurt. He was hurt. Probably an ESP. The other one was stepped out. He was, he was blind. He's been fighting. You think he was blind in that eye so he couldn't see as well? Oh wow. Oh, How's the other one? Oh, the other one. He only had one good eye. That's interesting. Never seen that before. I mean, look at all the stars on the side. Yeah, maybe that's what that's from. He probably got beat up from another elk. I wonder if some, something's happened to him with pus coming out of that hole, though. It almost, with the time. Yeah. it almost looks by the same size as mine was, though. I mean, could he get hit the whole time? This ground could have rammed him. Hmm. He's probably an older bull. He's probably a dead one. Yeah. I definitely say he's older. His teeth look pretty. Now let me just pose behind me for a second. Just pose behind me for a second. <laughs> Love it, Dallin. Love it. Freaking awesome. Yeah. I love how tall he is. I know. That's what I kept looking at up there. I was like, man, those antlers just go straight up. I'm just videoing. <laughs> this is a good angle. It's awesome. Good job. He's full. Oh, I can get. Well, you kind of video. Yeah. You might even want some just good pictures. I think we should turn him over on some before scabs you him all up over. and take a picture of the pus coming out to show um, Nate. In case, in case, in in case we're like, dude, the meat's bad. Yeah. Look at all these scars. He's got scars all over the place. Okay, if, if it's localized, like in one spot where that wound is, he's fine. Yeah. Yeah, and, that's, and, it's and that wound's in guts, so it's not in yeah. <laughs> the yeah. yeah. Gene, you do the head, I'm gonna push this way too. Yeah. Yeah. Down. Yeah. You just have to hold yeah. the Yeah, look how scarred up that side is. Ew, there's pus coming out of it. Oh yeah, see you pushing over here even. Oh. Oh, it stinks. Oh. <laughs> that might throw up. Can you smell it? Yeah, it's Go over there and take a picture of them. Ashley, just move over there. What? Don't even look. Just keep walking, Ash. <laughs> Oh, 
how they got that thing in there. This is still a cool picture right here on that one. Yeah, it's kind of not cool, but his eye looks normal at least. Hey guys, we are like, we're halfway through cutting up this elk, but I just wanted to show you what his side looked like. This guy was a, he was an old elk. Definitely think he was regressing in both antler size and body size. Um, but looks like he got the tar kicked out of him this year during the rut. And I think it's kind of made him sick. Yeah, he's old warrior, but I think it's kind of made him sick. He's got one spot where it looks like he got punctured with the tine. And I'll flip it around and show you. So that's what his side looks like. This is all scarring. That's a big scar. These are all scars. And that's a big hole where he got punctured. It's all just scar around it. He's got scars all over all down his legs, literally everywhere. It's kind of crazy. Ashley thinks it's disgusting. <laughs> crazy though, he was an old guy. I think he was regressing. I think that in his prime, he was probably way bigger, but he's still awesome. Yeah. So we're gonna keep at it. We're halfway there. This looks a lot like a, a, a human's upper front tooth. Really? 40 pounds. Look at the seal it. <laughs> Before we make it. <laughs> Leaving this beautiful country. I'm pretty quick, but. faster than we all thought it would work. Yeah, me too. You said take the job for tomorrow. Oh, I can sure try. I pretty much written off today. I was like, we'll just get out of here and go back. Get some rest. Yeah, and then you're like, I heard you say something, I turn around, all of you guys are kneeled Got down. Yeah, and I was like, what in the world? And I looked over and saw him, and I was like, well, shoot him. <laughs> 
I was focused on one thing, getting out of here. Well, we're on our way out and another, another shed. Everybody missed it, nobody even saw it. Everybody's way too focused. But we're headed out, that's number five shed that we found. I think number three today. Can't pick them up here though, can't even. I don't even know if you can touch them. Well, we've just been taking pictures, taking a little bit of video on. Continuing on. All right, guys, I think that's a wrap. We're pretty much back to the truck. So thanks for watching. And please subscribe if you haven't. And give it a like. You know the drill. But thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. Hey guys, I just wanted to show this to you. So, um, Dallin's elk, I've been working on it, trying to get it European mounted before we go back to Idaho. And I'll show this thing to you. He was definitely an old warrior. He is pretty busted up. So as I was cleaning him, his whole entire nose was broken. Uh, he had a break here, a break here. This was a break all the way around to where that nose came off. Um, and that would go back on right there. So that's a break. This was another break. That's a break. That's a break. And then the other nose over here. So his whole entire face was busted. And then he's got a crack in here that runs all the way down. His, he's got a hole right here. I can't find the piece for that. So I, I literally think that was a hole. And his eye, how he was blind in this one. Um, you can see that the eye sock gets busted there and there. And it's actually started to regrow back together. So I just, I think that's insane. He was, he's like the definition of an old warrior. But this bull was had a will to live. I don't know how he was still still alive after being beat up that bad, but kind of crazy. Hey guys, we are headed home. A pretty successful week mm -hmm. with all the all the mess ups trying to get here it still turned out okay yeah that was awesome it's kind of chaos at the beginning but it all worked out and we even had a little unexpected excitement in there too so that sheep yeah <laughs> cut that got an elk and a sheep got that so. odd ad it was not expected and not planned we just had a little quick spur of the moment decision and from the sounds of it, we got super lucky. So, really panned out. Thanks for watching, guys. And follow along if you haven't. Subscribe, do that. And I'll see you on the next one.